Hey, hey, hey everyone, James here from Mortisk Media. We're back today with a uh, specific video looking into a little bit more into the migration of files from one project to another. Um, I wanted to make this video because I had seen some comments about some issues people were having when migrating and I realized there was just some things that I could have explained a little bit better. So what I'm doing this in today's video is purely just going over some basic asset debugging, some things to keep in mind um, when migrating files and things like that. Um, so, all right. So if you haven't watched the migration video, um, you do not need to watch this. This is more building off of that. So a lot of things that I covered in, you know, a quick three, four minute video, um, I'm not going to be going over in this It's more just jumping off of additional information. Um, so like I showed you before, um, whenever you're migrating, you can migrate from any asset within your library and it can be done from any of, you know, it can even be done with a custom asset. Um, you can, you know, load an asset, make changes. Um, as you can see here, I've got like an ALS clean. So this way I can migrate um, the advanced locomotion system into any of my projects. Um, but the couple of things to keep in mind, um, the biggest thing, to be honest with you, um, because I've been seeing, uh, I had one comment specifically about someone was having some issues with crashing when exporting in. And I did a lot of testing. Um, and the one way that I had found to guarantee a crash was if you're utilizing an asset, like all of my assets here are only for Unreal Engine 5. Because that is the only Unreal Engine version that I have installed. So it won't allow me to actually install anything else beyond that because I don't have anything else. However, if you have any Unreal Engine version that's a four point whatever and you open up a project that was made in that four point whatever and you try to migrate an asset that was made in that four point standard and you try to migrate it into Unreal Engine 5, there's a chance it's not going to work. Now, there's really no way to tell with custom uh, based assets realistically it's all based off of if whatever you use to create it within unreal engine 4 if that value or that matrix is depreciated it's not going to work in unreal engine 5 but when it comes to assets that you buy from the marketplace it's actually a lot easier to tell which ones are and which ones are not applicable to uh, certain engine versions and there's two different ways to do that the easiest way though is if you go to your vault and you scroll over the little i icon here it'll actually tell you compatible with and then the unreal engine version so it's uh, compatible with unreal engine 5.0 and as well as unreal engine 4.27 and that that's the case with pretty much all of these some of these are compatible with 4.26 and other variations but realistically what you want to make sure is whatever you're migrating to is compatible with the Unreal Engine version that you're moving it into. So that's big point numero uno is make sure that the asset is compatible. So the other thing is, and I actually have our um, Unreal Engine tutorial project that we've been working out of in previous videos. It might be a little laggy for some reason. The shaders aren't loading properly, but that doesn't matter for what I'm showing you here today. So the other thing that I had found um, that is a guaranteed way to create a crash whenever you're migrating or at the very minimum create a lot of issues is if you're missing information. One thing to keep in mind when I don't I mean, this might be specific to Unreal Engine. It might not be, um, but Unreal Engine specifically, at least, um, does have a lot of information that it counts on from other sources. So I mean, like, for example, if I go to the Twin Blast character, right? If I just go characters, heroes, Twin Blast, and then, you know, I put, let's say, for example, this, um, the Anim Blueprint, or if I go to uh, Meshes, there we go. Or if I just want, if I just migrate the skeleton, okay? If you just do that, you're not going to get any of the physics assets. You're not going to get the actual mesh asset. Um, you're only going to get the skeleton with zero textures. Um, so this skeleton, or I should say the mesh relies on it. But so if you were to just, let's say, go for the mesh, you would just get the mesh. You wouldn't get the skeleton. You wouldn't get the physics assets, nor would you get anything else that is not just this. But if I open this up, it might take a moment. Um, but if I open this up, you'll actually see all the reliances. So you have all the different materials that are required to build this character in the visual appearance that it's currently set in. 
Also, we also have the LOD count as well, which really does make a huge difference because if you just import a mesh from one to another, a lot of times the LODs don't get loaded in properly. So when you're trying to do that load on demand and you're trying to get something, you know, when it's far away to try and go to a lower quality, a lot of times that LOD will actually mess up and cause a crash. Um, I have actually experienced this through a little bit of trial and error. So... I guess the two main points to prevent crashes is make sure that whatever you are migrating is compatible with the engine version that you are migrating to. And the other thing as well is to ensure that whenever you are migrating any necessary assets to make the, whatever you're migrating function, you're migrating with it as well. So you're not just migrating the skeletal mesh, you're not just migrating the skeleton, you're not just migrating the physics assets, you're taking all of it, putting it into a folder, and migrating that folder. The easier way to do it a lot of times is to just migrate the whole folder. So like if I went let's say I made adjustments to this whole Twin Blast folder. Like I made, you know, my own custom animations. Um, I made some changes to the material, the animation blueprint. Like I made changes that I wouldn't want to duplicate. At that point, you're better off just taking the entire folder for Paragon Twin Blast and migrating that into your project rather than loading it in through the add to project under the vault. So when it comes to migrating, it's really all about why are you migrating? Right? Why are you trying to take something from one project and put it into another, and is there a better way of going about it? That's one thing to also keep in mind. Whenever you're migrating, it's realistically, you should only really be doing this if you absolutely cannot, or realistically, it's going to take you like a very long time to be able to duplicate what you did on the previous project, or if it's impossible, like if it's another asset, like for example, like I um, had said before, how I have the ALS clean, I'm not going to go and recreate the entirety of the advanced locomotion system on my own. I'm going to take the entire project folder and I'm going to migrate it into whatever project that I need. Um, so these are things to keep in mind whenever you're migrating projects or even just adding assets into your folder. You know, if you are running two different engine versions, but you know, or really only running, let's say you're only running 5.0, but you have 4.27 still installed. Well, it's still going to allow you to um, download and install 4.27 based um, assets. But a lot of those assets, again, are going to be depreciated and unavailable for Unreal Engine 5. So just keep these things in mind and you shouldn't have any issues. However, if you do run into any further issues when it comes to migrating project files into another project, please let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to discuss and try to problem solve with you guys. I know game design can always be a, it's a fickle mistress. So um, please keep the questions coming, you guys, and I'll keep the videos rolling out for different bugs and fixes that I've been able to find. Um, hopefully this is, you know, the fix all for anything you, you guys might have issue wise. I was not able to find any other issues, but you know, you guys might be doing something that I didn't think about. So if you have any issues, just give a nice detailed comment and I will do what I can to try and assist with any further issues. But, uh, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button. Loving that support. Uh, we actually have a nice little surprise for you guys coming out. I'm um, going to be doing a debut video probably within the next few days, so keep an eye out for that. But um, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, stay animated.